And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hello and welcome to New Year's Day edition of Alaska Weather. Up first, the hazardous weather advisory out for the Yukon Delta Coast here, St. Lawrence Island for today, or for uh, tonight into tomorrow for some snow and blowing snow. Cold advisories, cold weather advisories out here for the interior, Copper River Basin for the next several days, looking at temperatures running anywhere from 35 to 55 degrees below zero. And the winter storm warning there for Yakutats, I think due to end here early this evening. Also a winter weather advisory out for the Cuscombe Delta coast. Winds gusting as high as 30 miles an hour combined with blowing snow will reduce visibilities down to a half mile or less at times. And also Nunavak Island, Cuscombe Delta coast. And again, that's for uh, 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Friday morning. About the same thing that's going on in the Yukon Delta coast. Satellite imagery showing band of moisture bringing some light snow today in along the southwest coast with some clouds edging up toward the Nome area. Stronger system back here to the west. It's going to track over the Pribilof Islands tonight and then drop southeastward by tomorrow afternoon. This time we'll be just south of Kodiak Island. And for the southeast coast, uh, kind of out of the snow shower condition there for now and very cold temperatures over the interior as uh, shown by the whiteness of the picture here extending all the way up into the Arctic Ocean. Forecast for tonight, low pressure right off the North Gulf Coast there, uh, actually just west of the north coast of the Panhandle. Keeps a chance of snow showers in across the uh, Yakutat area, but dry for the Panhandle. Clear cold temperatures tonight for the interior, well below zero from the Arctic coast, right on down to the Copper River Basin, the Sitna Valley, and even Bristol Bay, but milder with more clouds and some snow here with those advisories out for the southwest coast. And this system tracking up toward the Pribilof Islands with mostly rain there will extend down toward the eastern Aleutians. And to the west, a stronger system out there pushing northward. Pretty good low pressure area there, but gale force winds with this front pushing into the central Aleutians. Rain into the eastern Aleutians. This system now south of Kodiak Island. Chance of rain there, clear cold over the interior. And this stationary low keeps a chance of snow again for the north coast of the Panhandle, as well as the eastern North Gulf Coast, Yakutat to about Cape St. Elias. And then for Saturday, very cold temperatures over the interior with mostly clear skies, except for the areas of low clouds and fog, say around Fairbanks, for example, and uh, still a chance of snow showers, that low weakening now into a trough here. So whatever falls there will be very light and widely scattered for the Yakutat area, dry for the southeast coast with some clearing, northeast winds, cold temperatures across the entire area there, but not as cold as the interior. Weakening front brings some snow into Nunavak Island, rain and snow for the Alaska Peninsula to the Pribilofs. Big storm out here to the west, bringing storm and gale force winds and rain across the Aleutians. And that uh, strong system pulls up over the western Bering Sea, driving in front eastward here on very strong westerly winds, gale to storm force westerlies there, bringing snow and blowing snow into the southwest coast, spreading up towards St. Lawrence Island, and uh, cold high pressure holds, but winds starting to increase here over the interior, as you can see with the tightening pressure gradient. Cold over the northern panhandle, dry and chilly all the way down to the south, or to Dixon entrance there. And for the lows tonight, 35 to 55 below over the central eastern interior with below zero temperatures of the Arctic coast. And uh, lows anywhere milder with the clouds here and the light snow. So right around 20 there for the southwest coast, upper 30s, Alaska Peninsula and the Aleutians, and lows anywhere from uh, five below to 15 below, south central Alaska, about 18 for Kodiak, and five below for the Fairbanks area, or for the uh, Anchorage area, Fairbanks, 47 below for your low. And then the high tomorrow afternoon, not much warmer up there, mid 40s below zero, staying uh, 50 below or colder for the Yukon Flats, Minus 22 for Golcana, anywhere from five below to five above South Central Alaska, 15 to 20 Northern Panhandle, mid 30s to the south. And Saturday morning lows, pretty mild in the Aleutians, upper 30s there, but uh, very cold here, 50 below forecast for 
Fairbanks and mid minus 50s or 50 to 55 below, Yukon Flats to Eagle, down toward Northway and Toke, and even the Copper River Basin around 50 below, and 0 to 10 for the northern panhandle, upper 20s to the south, and we've got temperatures right around 0 out to the southwest coast, 10 to 15 below in Bristol Bay, and uh, upper 20s to near 40 for the lows for the uh, Unalaska area. And for the highs, staying very cold here, Copper River Basin, up to the Arctic coast, well below zero, all the way out to the Seward Peninsula. St. Lawrence Island, though, about eight at Savunga. Otherwise, uh, South Central Alaska, five below, 210 above, near 30 for Kodiak, lower 40s by contrast for the Eastern Aleutians, Central Aleutians as well. And for the Northern Panhandle, cold temperatures, 10 to 15 for the highs, but uh, should edge above freezing down toward Metlakatla, Ketchikan, and Heidelberg, those areas.